trying to choose a drink, darling? <laughs> Sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I was just going to make a suggestion, if you care to hear it. Then I'm going to go ahead and recommend trying the Champagne Punch. It's pomegranate and lemon. They only serve it during New Year's. Shame, really, given how good it is. Oh, it's a great venue, and the menu is always delicious, though I'll admit that I play favorites. Everything on their winter menu has a special place in my heart, but the red wine braised venison, my all-time favorite. I've been to quite a few work events at this venue, so I'm fairly familiar with it. I actually recommended it to Danny for this party, mainly because my company decided to have the end of year party somewhere else, and I really wanted to come here at least once this year. Just don't tell Danny that, okay? She chewed me out for choosing a venue just because I wanted to go there. <laughs> but she can hardly blame me for loving this place. This really is the best spot to host a New Year's Eve party. The food and drinks are amazing. The building is gorgeous. A live band sets the mood perfectly and, above all else, I always meet the most attractive company here. Sorry, was that too forward of me to say? You look a bit surprised. Sorry, how about I start this off in a more polite way? Would you let me buy you a drink? Perfect. How does that punch I mentioned fall? Did I manage to sell you one? I'm glad I'm such a convincing saleswoman. Here, let me order some for us. Excuse me, sir, could I get two glasses of the champagne punch? Thank you. Now, while we wait for our drinks, I've got a question for you. Are you ready? Oh, don't worry, it's not some big personal question about your life. Asking heavy questions after just meeting someone is too blunt even by my standards. And I promise you, I'm not the type to have many reservations about getting to know such someone being so easy on the eyes. Oh, was I? Sorry, I didn't realize I was flirting again. I guess it's just instinct when I'm looking at someone who happens to look exactly like what I picture in my daydreams. <laughs> and there, I just did it again, didn't I? My bad. How about I just go ahead and ask my question? Would that be better, darling? Oh, sorry. That one kind of just snuck in there. But on to my question. Uh, uh, flirting? I assure you I'll do no such thing. Now, if you don't mind, darling, I was just going to ask you what brings you here tonight. Oh, did I call you darling again? Sorry, slip of the tongue. Anyway. <laughs> sorry, sorry. You're just so fun to flirt with. Certainly doesn't help that it's getting the most dazzling smile out of you. But I promise this time I'll just ask the question. No more flirting. At least not after. Pinky promise? Yes, really, I promise. No flirting, no sweet words or nicknames or... Ah, uh, thank you. Here you go. Go ahead, give it a try. So was I right? Isn't it good? I thought you'd like it. Now, as I was about to ask... Oh, of course, excuse us. This bar is getting a bit crowded, isn't it? I guess it is getting close to midnight. They probably want to grab a drink to toast with when the clock strikes midnight. How about we go somewhere a little more private? I might have an idea. You see that doorway over there? The one kind of behind the stairs, just on the other side of the bar? It's just a small lounge, but it's so well hidden that no one ever finds it. I only found it by mistake a couple years ago. It's a nice place to rest when you want some time away from the rest of the party. It's also nice and quiet, so we won't have to fight against the crowd to hear each other. Would you be all right with going over there? Perfect. 
Here, take my hand. It'll make it easier to not get lost in the crowd. Yes, that is an excuse to hold your hand, but it's also practical. <laughs> Flirting can be very practical. Now, are you going to hold my hand or not? Perfect. Now, come with me. Finally, some peace and quiet. It was beginning to get a bit too loud in there, and I hate having to yell over everyone to hold a conversation. But now that all of that has been taken care of, let's get back to the matter at hand. The moment we've all been waiting for. My question for you is, why did you come here tonight? Oh, I know Danny invited you, but I'm asking why you decided to accept what were you expecting from this party that made you want to come? Was it a night out with friends? The food and drink? Maybe just a chance to dress up? Which would be a very good reason, given just how handsome you look. <laughs> well, I already asked the question, so technically I'm not breaking my promise. No, I'm not. I just asked. I didn't say I'd wait for an answer before I started flirting again. So, darling, what brings you to this party tonight of all nights? A secret? Really now? Hmm. Well, I love secrets. Now I absolutely need to know. But I'm so good at keeping secrets. You can trust me. I promise I won't tell another soul. Aw, but what if I pinky promise? Would that change your mind at all? No. Really? Hmm. What if I offered a trade? Yes, a trade. If I tell you why I came to the party, then would you tell me why you came? No, contrary to popular belief, it wasn't just for the punch. So that was a bonus. Oh yes, I have another, much more important reason for being here. Even more important than any of the food, dare I say it. I know, shocking, isn't it? <laughs> well, before I tell you that, you'd have to agree to our trade. So, do you accept? Then we have a deal. Why don't we set our drinks down over here and we can shake on it. Well, I guess I'll go first then. The reason I came here tonight is that I was hoping to meet someone. It's been a while since I've met someone I wanted to date, and I thought this would be a good way to do that. I was even thinking that, if I was lucky, I'd meet someone that I'd get to kiss at midnight. Now it's your turn, darling. Is that so? You came here to meet someone new? Hmm. Well, what a lovely coincidence. By any chance, is it possible that you would like to kiss someone at midnight? Then, perhaps, would you like to kiss me at midnight? Really? You would? Well, isn't this perfect? <laughs> it's like you and I were destined to meet here tonight. New Year's magic? You know what? I can believe that. It'll be even more magical when we kiss. Hmm? Oh, you're right. We're closer to the new year than I thought. Less than two minutes, huh? Well, this is the perfect spot to be then. I've got you all to myself for this, don't I? Oh, absolutely, you have me too. If you're right here, darling, I'm not going anywhere. We're almost there. People are starting to count down. Are you ready? Then why don't you come a bit closer, hmm? You have no idea how much I'm looking forward to this. You are exactly who I was hoping to meet tonight. I'm the same for you. Well then, lucky us. 
And here in less than 10 seconds, we're both going to get exactly what we've been thinking about since we met. You want to count down with me? Five, four, three, two, one. Well, that was quite the way to bring in the new year. Actually, I'd say that was the best start to a year that I've had in quite a while. Oh, you think that the rest of the year could get even better than this? I'm not sure that's possible, unless you know something that could possibly prove me wrong. <laughs> Well, I think I've been proven wrong. Seems like this year is getting better as we go. <laughs> this may be a bit out of order, but why don't we spend some time getting to know each other a bit better? How about 20 questions? Maybe with a few kisses here and there. Mm, glad we're on the same page. I'll start with a question then. Do you have any plans for tomorrow? Happy New Year, Tweethearts. From Bone Eyed Bird and everyone else here, may your new year be full of love, joy, and the sweetest things life has to offer. Take care, sweethearts. See you next year.